Keep in mind that there may be a Vendini ship lurking nearby. Put us into low orbit. That will increase atmospheric friction, are you sure? Our enemy will have the same problem. Stay on your guard. Roger. Prepare for battle. We'll provide backup down here. Backup? With what? There's no time to explain. Just hang in there. We'll cover you from here. Roger! Head towards that huge object over there. Yes, no one. Okay, fire when you get within range. Got it. Mm -hmm. Don't give up. Keep firing. I know. I'm trying. Come on and blow up already! Don't worry. It must be working. Just keep it up. What was that? That wasn't the... No, it wasn't the Diplo. I think they pulled it off. Yes! We've got a chance now. What's this? There! They're retreating! Captain! We're history unless we do something fast! Make a run for it! We're coming to help! And this is bad! Crosell! Hurry! I am hurrying! Diplo!
What? What was that? Captain! Marietta! Are you okay? Yes, thankfully. Did you see that? What was it? Do we have a computer analysis? Hold on a second. Here it is. What? What's wrong? I don't believe it. The computer says that narrow beam of light was packing an energy magnitude of 3.2. Did she say magnitude 3.2? That can't be. Even the creation cannons on the latest Federation battleships can only emit an energy magnitude of two tops. So what the hell was it? Marietta, can you determine the light beam's origin? No. All I can tell is it's somewhere extremely far away. Even the Diplo sensors couldn't detect the source. Oh! Hold on a second! Captain, our sensors have picked up multiple instances of the same type of energy reaction. They're all heading in the same direction. One of them is exceeding magnitude 4. Magnitude 4? Where are they headed? Earth! An Aldean or Vendini weapon, maybe? Not a chance. Do you think a Vendini weapon could do what we just saw? Or an Aldean weapon, for that matter? True. It's highly unlikely that either has an energy source exceeding the magnitude of creation energy. But if it's some new weapon, we're in big trouble. I'm not even sure the Earth's planetary defense shield could block it. Let's get back to the castle. We're wasting time here. You're right. Marietta, give me a damage report on the Diplo. The Gravitic Warp Engine's been damaged. Repairs should take about six hours. Do it in four. I have a bad feeling about this. Roger, we'll try our best. I'm counting on you. Understood. Your Majesty, it's time for us to leave your world. With the fleet destroyed, I hope things here will return to normal. As do we. I am very sorry for causing all this trouble. On the contrary, we have learned that there are entire civilizations out there beyond our world. And we have learned this is not the time for foolish struggles between our countries. Precisely. In order to avoid bringing the final prophecy of Apris to fruition in its worst form, we must not wage war. Indeed. Okay, everyone, we're off. Again, I'm sorry for all the trouble. I'm glad we got a chance to know each other, even though our time together was brief. I'm glad too. I'm glad Apris granted me the opportunity to meet you all. I wish you could stay. Unfortunately, that's not an option. As you have your world, we have ours as well. I thought you might say something of the kind. I pray for your success in rescuing your father. Thanks. It's me. The repairs are complete, ma'am. Already? That was fast. We did our best. Thanks. I owe you one. Be ready to receive four via transportation in one minute. Roger. Farewell. Take care!
Welcome back, Captain. Good work, everyone. I'm so happy you made it back safely. I've been worried sick. I haven't been able to sleep a wink. No time for chit-chat. Any progress analyzing that energy? Uh, yeah. It appears that blast of energy came from neither Federation, Aldian, nor Vendini forces. How do you know that? We don't have much information right now, but according to intercepted communications, all three groups are currently under attack by another entity. From where? Don't know yet. There are limits to the communications we can intercept at this distance. Marietta is continuing to analyze the data. I don't know if they're friend or foe, but they sure did a number on those Vendini. Let's take advantage of the situation and keep gathering that data for analysis. Leave it to me! I'm going to the bridge. People, we're behind schedule on our objective to secure Dr. Line God. Let's proceed as planned to point S317. All hands stand by. Right! Wait a second. Secure Dr. Line God? So you know where my father is? That's right. He's being held in a cave on a planet located at point S317. It's been cleverly disguised, but it's a secret Vendini base, no doubt. Secret base? How do you know about it then? Don't underestimate Quark's information network. We'll be entering Gravitic Warp at once. Go sit over there. Okay. Set a course to point S317 via Gravitic Warp. Break out of orbit with one quarter thrust. Okay. Breaking out of orbit with one quarter thrust. Out of orbit. Engage gravitic warp. Engaging gravitic warp. Our long range sensors have picked up a ship. Fast approaching. Ship registration? It's the Aqua Ellie, a Federation battleship. A battleship? What is a Federation battleship doing out here? Could they be after us? Incoming transmission. Full stop. Display the transmission on screen. Roger. Roger. This is Commodore Whitcomb of the Federation ship Aqua Ellie. It's an honor to meet you all. Likewise. I would never have expected to meet Commodore Whitcomb, star officer of the Federation fleet in these parts. <laughs> I'm flattered you'd remember my name. But first things first, that's Dr. Leingod's son standing behind you, correct? Yes, it is. Well, what I'm about to say will no doubt come as a surprise. There's no time for details now, so I'll be brief. Go on. A Vendini ship is approaching you. Our analysts believe they will not attack. So we expect the same of you. None of us want there to be any hostilities. What are you talking about? How could you possibly know that the Vendini will not attack? Because... Captain, our sensors have picked up the Vendini ship. They're sending out a transmission. Switch signals. 
This is Captain Bewig of the Vendine Empire ship Dasvanu. Surrender immediately and submit to our orders. Nice to meet you too. Dr. Linegard, enemy of the galaxy, and the girl are in our hands. You are in no position to refuse our demand. Sophia! What do you want with my father? We have but a single demand. You must exchange Linegard's son for Dr. Linegard. Exchange me for my father? And the method of exchange? I suppose we don't trust one another enough to transport them between our ships. Obviously not. We will reach your location in a few minutes. Further orders will be issued at that point. You will stand by until then. Marietta, encrypt our signal to the Aquaeli. Done. I heard everything. So that's the situation. Dr. Leingod's safety is paramount. As long as they hold him, we are unable to attack. I suppose you're right. Commodore, just how much do the Federation and Vendini really know? About what? Don't play dumb with me. You wouldn't be trying to get Dr. Linegard, let alone Fate, unless you had some sort of information on them. I suspect our intentions are not that different from your own. As for the Vendini, I'm not sure what they want. But I do have my suspicions. I see. So, what you gonna do? You gonna give him up without a fight? You gotta be kidding! I still have things I wanna ask my father! Don't worry, Fate. I won't let them have you or your father. I won't stand for that. Maria. As long as you can secure Dr. Linegard, the Aqua Ellie will be able to deal with the Vendini ship. The timing of the hostage exchange will be key. No doubt they will specify a neutral location for the exchange. I'm not sure what we'll do then. We'll have to think of something. Think of something? We'll be flying by the seat of our pants. Not much else we can do. We've no time and the cards are stacked against us. Just the sort of situation you like, isn't it, Cliff? Suppose so, but... Give it your best shot. I place it in your hands. Well, we aren't doing this for you, you know. Nevertheless, Dr. Linegard and the boy must not fall into Vendini hands. Right. I imagine it will not be much longer until we arrive. Sit tight until then. All right. Best of luck to you. We have to help my father, no matter what it takes. I know. Remember, I have some unfinished business with him. We won't fail to free your father. <laughs> I can hardly wait. I'm glad you're on my side. You know it. I hope Sophia's holding up well. This has to be hard on her. Captain, we're receiving a transmission from the Dasvanu. On screen. The exchange will take place on the planet you are orbiting. On Elacor? Prepare to transport down. And no heroics. The Dasvanu sent the coordinates. 147.5834. 34.8874. Location? Right away. Hey, isn't that... <laughs> oh, yeah. You've been there? Yep, sure have.
Transport at the specified time. And I repeat, no heroics. Understood. We'll hold you to that as well. We'll exchange fate for Dr. Leingod and the Esteed's daughter. That's the deal. Yes, that is the deal. We can only transport six at a time. Their capacity shouldn't be any different. Most likely. Well, I guess six should be enough. Remember, they've got my father. Whatever you do, be careful. You're such a worry wart. Put a little more trust in me. I trust you. I really do. It's just... Don't worry. It'll be okay. Believe me. We'll get everyone back safely. Maria. Okay. Mirage, prepare to transport us down. Roger, Captain. I'll go with you. Hey, Stieg, you're coming too. Yes, sir. Landcar, you read me? Sup, Maria? Ready three combat personnel, equipment level A. You pick the team. They'll transport down with us. Level A? This must be serious. It is. Our suits are no match for the disruptor rifles the Vendini use, but they're better than nothing. Got it. I'll have them ready ASAP. I'm counting on you. What is it? Nothing. I was just thinking, you really are Quark's leader. Not too sharp, are you? I've been telling you that from the start. I know, it's just that... Yeah, whatever. There's still some time before we transport down, so you're free until then. There's nothing I need you for right now. I'll make an announcement when it's time to go. Okay.
see everyone's here. All right, let's go. You've got the bridge, Mirage. Roger. <laughs> let's do it. Good luck. See you soon. If something happens, you have command of the Diplo. Understood. Well, let's just hope nothing happens. My thoughts exactly. We'll be back shortly. Take care. Stay sharp, and keep an eye on the captain. Hmm? Is someone there? Hang in there, you two. Shouldn't be long now. Hmm? What's that? A transport jammer! Hand over the boy, now. What do you mean? I thought we had a deal. Hmm. Did you? Your equipment suggests otherwise. You Federation scum are always up to dirty tricks. It'd be plain stupid to come unprepared. Besides, we're not from the Federation. What's the difference? Hey, boy, get over here. Dare you! Take the boy alive! Kill the rest! Okay, guys, let's do Bring it! Bring it on! Scatter <laughs> Seems you underestimated us. It would appear so. Fate! Fate! Fate. The tables have turned! 
Beewig. <laughs> What's so funny, Baghead? You're the only one left. <sighs> Something's being transported down. How's that possible? There's a transport jammer here. <laughs> Fools! Our technology only blocks who we want it to block. We can bring down as many reinforcements as we need. Run for it! To them. Don't let them get away! Sophia? Don't worry. I just tripped. Let me see your leg. Why didn't you tell me you were hurt? Must have been hit in that fight back there. You guys hide here. I'll try to draw them away. What, alone? I'll be fine. I can handle these guys. Her injury is gonna slow you down. I've spotted one! Over here! Show me where you're hurt. Huh? Oh, right here. It doesn't look too bad. We'll fix you up in no time once we get back to the Diplo. I know it hurts, but hang in there a bit longer. Okay, thanks. The transport jammer should have about a two kilometer radius of effect, right? That's the Federation spec, but the Vendini technology is more advanced. No doubt it has an even greater area of effect. It will be hard getting clear of it. If we try to run, they'll only come after us. We have to make a stand. You've grown, Fate. Let's talk it over with Cliff when he gets back. Okay. In the meantime, Dad, there's something I have to ask you. So you've finally found out. But you must understand, I never once thought of you as a tool for my research. You were born because your mother and I always wanted a child. Well then, tell us why! How could you treat your own child like a guinea pig? By the way, who is she? This is Maria. Maria Trador. She's the leader of Quark, the Anti-Federation Group. Maria... Trador? Trador? You performed genetic engineering on her, just like you did to me. Uncle Robert? Genetic engineering? What? So that means you're... I see. That's why your last name is... Trador. Explain yourself, Dr. Linegod. I think we have the right to know. Dad, tell us why. Why did you do it, Dad? Why did you manipulate our genes? I did it. For the sake of our universe. Our universe? That's quite a grand scale. How could modifying our genes have anything to do with the universe? But it's the truth. I performed symbological genetic engineering on you because of a force that would one day threaten all we know. Threaten all we know? I don't expect you to believe me right here and now. It's a long story. 
I'll explain everything once we get out of here. Just be patient. Is that all? You think we'll accept that poor excuse for an explanation? Maria. That's not what I wanted to hear! I'm sorry. Sorry to keep you waiting. What happened? It's nothing, really. Okay. I've cleared out all the enemies in the immediate area, but we can't waste any time. I'm sure they'll keep calling in reinforcements. And there are still Vendini soldiers here and there. Seems to be no end to them. They're like roaches. I think we should destroy the jammer. Otherwise, we don't stand a chance. We'll be picked off one by one. What do you think? I'd like to hear your opinion. Hmm. Seems we have no other choice. Maria to Diplo. I'm here! That B-Wig's using a new type of transport jammer. We're going to destroy it. Be ready to transport us up as soon as we do. Cannot comply! What's wrong? We're under attack by the Dusvanu! Our hands are full just staying alive! Incoming transports at this time would be... <laughs> what happened to the Aquaeli? It should have been here by now. They're being blocked by another Vendini ship! They need a little more time! Where's Mirage? She's on damage control. Lieber and Lankar are with her. All right. Find some way to hold out until the Aqua Ellie arrives. We'll do our best. Damn it. I should have known the Vendini would have prepared for this. Hey, if the Vendini are engaged, maybe they're also too busy to use their transporters. Yeah, there's a good chance of that. If so, then they've got all the soldiers they're going to get. Let's take out their jammer then. In the meantime, let's just hope the Aqua Ellie shows up to lend a hand. Relying on the Federation sticks in my craw, but I guess we have no other choice. It's gonna be tough, you two, but hang in there. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 